It's also possible to move artboards inside of Illustrator. So if I go down to the artboard tool, uh, it activates artboard number two called comp slip. Well, if I zoom out a touch with a scroll wheel, you'll notice that if I hover my cursor in the middle of the artboard, you will get the move uh, icon. If I click and drag, I can move that around anywhere I wish to. So underneath, just to the side, like so. And then this is a subtle clue that if you are supplied an Illustrator document, you may expect um, that the first artboard is the one on the left hand side. So it might not always be the case. You can see here, artboard number two comp slip is on the left hand side. So if I hit the escape key, looking at this at this point here, if I just open it up, you would be forgiven for thinking that maybe this is artboard number one and a letterhead is artboard number two. So if I go back into artboard editing mode, if you wish to, you can rearrange them. You can go to window and open up the artboards panel. Here you will notice that we have the list of artboards numbered in their print or export order in there. If you wish to change that, well, then you can click on the artboard in question and then you can choose to move it up in the list in there. Notice now it tells us that this is artboard number one. So you can rearrange or move the order in here. You also have symbols for the orientation of portrait and landscape. If I click on that, it will take you to the artboard options dialog box. I'll click cancel inside of there. Um, and then if you wish to, if I just zoom out here, and if you have many artboards in your document and you wish to rearrange them into the order that's shown in here, well, if I just, um, for example, here, tap down just to change it back. So comp slip is the artboard number two in the wrong order in here. You can go down to the bottom and click on rearrange all artboards. And then if I leave this set to say, just arrange by row and the spacing in here, let's go for 50 millimeters. And then just make sure you've got move artwork with artboard, very important because of course we have all of this artwork set up in the artboard. We want that to move with it. And then when you click OK, what Illustrator will do is it will then move the artboards visually in the image window to match the order that they're shown in the artboards panel. Um, now again in here under artboard one, if I just double left click on that, you can rename it. So I will call that letterhead and press return, which you can also do inside of there as well. So yes, you can move your artboards around, but do just make sure that either when you are rearranging them, if I just close this down, or if you're moving them around like this, that you have this button turned on here to move or copy artwork with artboard so that when you do move it around, not only will it move the artwork, but also anything that's locked or hidden as well. There is a preference if I press Command and K or Control K on a PC that under selection and anchor display, move locked and hidden artwork with artboard. Now that was turned on in preferences in an earlier chapter and that's the reason why. Very handy option. I'll click OK. And then I will just click and drag them and move that back just to the side of the other artboard in there and go to view and fit all in window and hit the escape key to come out of artboard editing mode.